This is Sarah-chan from Bloodtoon, right? Oh, she is! She's a nerd! Okay! I'd like to know your name. Oh? I don't want this to pass me by, so wait. I I don't know what this means. What's the green mean? Let me click it. Oh! What'd I do? How's it going, everybody? Hoodlamut here, back with some more Chaos Head Noah. And uh, last time... We got uh, a visit from our little sister. We said some things that I do not ever want to think about ever again. But she was quite nice, kind of. I mean, she was a little sister. But uh, she came to help us to go get a phone uh, on the house from our dad. And we said no. And uh, then after she left, we were going to a cafe. We went to the, the cafe to play uh, more ESO. And, uh, we saw that someone was looking up new gen stuff. Uh, but we didn't ever truly figure out who it was. As we were trying to, uh, head for home, we ran into Stalker Girl. And, uh, Stalker Girl, uh, scared us so bad that we ran away, ran into something, and we, we ended up being too hurt to actually like function so she offered to help us uh get home after an awkward encounter and i believe that is where we are now i do want to say though before starting all this time i didn't realize okay either either it hasn't been showing me or i just straight up and i'm just as blind as a bat okay i saw the footage from some of the previous episodes where the, 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 everything goes tunnel vision and there's, there's a green and red little tab on the side of the thing. Is that, is that a, is that a, like a, is that like a choice that I could be making? Because I don't remember seeing those tabs when the, the tunnel vision happened. I, I, I would have made a choice if I'd have known that. I just thought it was doing something weird. I, I, I don't remember seeing those there. Okay. So if they were there, I am just that blind, but I, I promise you, I don't remember seeing them or I, or I would have probably at least tried to hover over them. Um, so that kind of upsets me. There's probably a decision or two I would have made had I have known uh, differently because one of them I remember was for going with uh, Misumi to uh, the crime scene. Uh, but for that one, I probably would have said no anyway. Then there was the one that we just had for Stalker Girl, and I don't know what I would have done with that one, because I don't really know what it was prompting. I don't know what it was, like, going to be asking. And then I think there was one more prior to that. I thought it had to do with the sister, like, to go get the phone or something, but I can't remember. Anyway, I would have made decisions, so I'm going to be looking for that if that happens again this episode, and we'll see if I can actually make a decision or not, because I promise you I didn't see those tabs. So, uh, anyway, without further ado... Let's get back into this, shall we? Neither of us said a word until we reached the building where my base was located. Okay, so we didn't actually go home home. We, we, she, we just had her bring us back to the little container. Okay. After all, there was no way I could hold a half-decent conversation with a girl, let alone one I didn't know. I knew that the second I'd bring up anime or video games, she'd automatically go, Ew, what a freak! Just like every other 3D girl. She wouldn't even bother listening or trying to understand. From my point of view, there was just no point in talking to women like that. He here's fine. You can go now. That grumble was about all I could muster. And I looked at Yua to make sure she understood it. Oh yeah, her name was Yua, I forgot about that. She gave me a gentle nod in response, then removed her arm from under me. I was still a little unstable, but I managed to stay upright. How about I at least, um, help you up to your room? <laughs> I completely ignored her suggestion and walked toward the lobby. Well, I say lobby, but it was really just a narrow entryway to the elevator hall. 
Still, the moment I lifted my foot to start climbing the small staircase leading up to it, a sharp pain ran through me, and I nearly fell over again. Uh, are you okay? Yua rushed over to support me. Darn it! Why was she still here? Alright, I'm coming with you to your room. I, I won't let you down! She sounded almost desperate. Aw, she's kind of wholesome. I hated to admit it, but Yua had been a huge help, and in the end, she had taken me all the way back to my base. Yeah, that's right. She said she was, like, uh, really interested in us. So I have a feeling. I wonder if she, like, is... Uh, he says she sounded desperate. I wonder if she was, like, desperate to figure out where he was, like, like what his room looked like, right? Watch her be a freaking otaku as well. Watch. Watch it happen. Either that or she becomes interested in it. Watch me be right. To get there, first we had to go all the way up to the eighth floor then take a steep flight of emergency stairs up to the roof. In my current state, there was no way I could have ever possibly managed that alone. Yua wasn't strong in any sense of the word. She was very clearly running on fumes. And yet, she had helped me up the stairs as if her life depended on it. S so this is where you live? Huh? <laughs> Yua was left speechless when she saw my container house. <laughs> no surprise there. Normal people probably would never believe someone could live in a container. I, I couldn't, so... <laughs> it's kind of... Um... Kind of nice. Huh? It has the sense of rebelliousness to it. I like it. I never thought she'd say something like that. Was she just trying to flatter me or something? You won't fool me, wench. I will never fall for a 3D girl's tricks. <laughs> Dude, you're just destined to be... To, to never get a girlfriend, aren't you? You're just like, you're just, you're trying to make it happen. It's like he has this spirit of rejection, you know? He just, he's been rejected so many times before that he's trying to reject her before she has a chance to reject him. That's what it feels like, you know? It's so sad. With Yua still propping me up, we walked up to the container door, removed the padlock, and stepped inside. Phew, I was finally back. Today was another total catastrophe. This was why you really couldn't beat staying indoors. It's so dark. Um, where's the light switch? <laughs> did she... Did she really not have any shame? Just coming into my room like this? I mean, to be fair, she had brought me all the way here on her shoulder. But I really didn't want her seeing the rest of my room if I could help it. I mean, I had dozens upon dozens of figures lined up on my shelves, piles of eroge boxes on my bed, and trash all over the floor. I I'm fine. Now, let me go. After I said that, I waited for Yua to let go of me, but she didn't budge. Your floor's a little... Uh, messy. Uh, I mean, it seems a little hard for you to walk across. It's dangerous in your current state. Let me take you over to the couch first. I'll let you go after that. In the end, I just kept on doing whatever she said. The couch was covered in CDs and magazines, but Yua quickly cleared them out of the way, as quickly as she could while still holding me up anyway. As soon as she was finished, I sat right down. Man, she's just so sweet and caring. Wait, what am I saying? I am not going to fall for it. 
I'm not. <laughs> Are you all right now? Y yeah. The two of us were all alone in the room. It was almost pitch black, save for the tiny bit of moonlight shining through the open doorway. As a result, I couldn't tell what sort of expression Yua had on her face. On the bright side, though, hearing a girl breathing in the dark was pretty hot. Come to think of it, it was the first time anyone aside from my little sister had ever seen my room. Which meant it was the first time I'd had an actual girl up here. If this were a game, then I would have tripped some sort of flag. <laughs> Is that like a breaking the fourth wall thing? <laughs> okay. After that, soon enough, the mood would turn romantic. And before we knew it, we'd be all over each other. That said, I wasn't expecting anything like that. Reality was complete and utter crap. It was nothing like the 2D world. And besides, this Yua girl wasn't normal. She was a stalker. So yeah. <laughs> Wait, why was she still here? How long was she planning on staying? Her job here was done, so shouldn't she be leaving now? That was when it hit me. Wait. No. Was her plan to get me alone in an isolated spot, then do something horrible to me? Uh, um, where's the light switch? Uh, uh, by my PC. Your PC? <laughs> The only light source in the room was the desk lamp by my PC. I wanted to tell her to turn that lamp on, but I just couldn't get the words out. Oh, I see. That lamp over there, right? Uh, y yeah. Yua carefully made her way over to my computer desk, avoiding all the garbage by her feet, then turned on the lamp. And then there was light. The darkness had put all sorts of embarrassing ideas and delusions in my head. And now that I could see Yua's face clearly, all those fantasies made it hard to look her in the eye without getting even more embarrassed than I already was. Panicked, I couldn't get any words out. So I just kept my head down. Aw, oh, dude, that's... It's kind of sad, right? Like... He's kind of a jerk and a freak at the same time, but I really, I, I'm really thinking that they are going for that whole, he, he was so isolated for so long that he kind of just turned into a degenerate, right? It's like being isolated by yourself, becoming a social outcast, whether that happened naturally or unnaturally because of like things that he did himself, it just seems like they're trying to make a statement on that, you know? It, he really just seems like a guy that's just, you know, really unconfident, you know, and has no self-esteem, so he gains his self-esteem through video games, you know, it's like, it, I mean, you know, so for that amount, I feel like y you can, you can, you know, kind of feel sorry for him and want to root for him, but just like, why do you gotta say some of the stuff you say, you know? <laughs> anyway, just, just kind of hit me. Ah! <laughs> She'd shouted so suddenly that goosebumps shot across my skin. Her gaze was pointed straight at the Saraton figure next to my monitor, who was striking her favorite sexy pose. <laughs> this... This is Sarachan from Bloodtoon, right? Oh, she is! She's a nerd! Okay! Huh? Y you know her? Yes, I love Bloodtoon. I watch it every week. Uh, huh? <laughs> you sure love Sarachan, don't you? She's my favorite heroine too. Her outfit is so cute. Her voice was full of joy. She was clearly speaking genuinely. 
There was no way she was just trying to trick me. Who'd have thought? Could you a be a... <laughs> Fujoshi? Huh? Uh, nothing. Is that a bad thing? I don't know what that means. Is that a bad thing? Come on, dude. Don't let it be a bad thing. Well, maybe she just liked anime. Yeah, it was probably a bad thing. <laughs> That's a figure, right? Could I take a look at it for a second? Oh, I'm sorry. That was rude of me, wasn't it? Maybe I should just leave. She bowed repeatedly, clearly flustered. Sh sure You can look. Well, I, I, I couldn't say I didn't enjoy her laying the praise on my waifu, so I might as well be a little nice to her. <laughs> Dude, come on, man. <laughs> Dude, we found him a girlfriend right here, dude. This is her, man. She was made for him, dude. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe she's actually psycho. And then they're trying to throw us off, but... But I, she, she could just be a little nerd. He needs a little nerd. She's probably misunderstood too, dude. Aw. Uh, man, they might be a good fit for each other. And then he won't be weird anymore. <laughs> really? Thank you so much. Yua took Sera in her hand and started inspecting her closely. Th that's the Senyoro pre-awakening version. A few Sera figures have been released, b but this was the first one. Wow. It's not very high quality, though. Parts of it are a, a little misshapen, like her face. The poses you can do with it are also way too generic. You can't make her look very sexy at all. <laughs> well, the clothes around her boobs are removable. It's a cast-off figure. B but that's pretty much all it has going for it. Dude, come on. He can't. He's going into his otaku mode now. He's not even thinking about what he's saying, I bet. Dude, come on, man. <laughs> You're you're losing it. You're sinking the you're sinking it, dude. Her, her boobs? Wait, what? Oh, by the way, I've collected all four set of figures that are currently available. The, they're on those shelves. I, I've got the uniform version, maid version, and swimsuit version. Wow, I had no idea there were that many. It must have been hard to get them all. The most expensive one is the maid version. But if you ask me, I I'd say the swimsuit version is pretty good too. You think so? Can you show me? Actually, it's still a little dark. Uh, uh, Alpha's releasing the ultimate post-awakening version soon. And it seems like... It'll be pretty high quality. Th they're saying all of her clothes will be removable. <laughs> not not just her boobs. Plus, the different expressions and poses are going to be top-notch. <laughs> if they nail the paintwork, too, it'll definitely be a candidate for figure of the year. Alpha? They're a m manufacturer. They make figures. Oh, I see. <laughs> Suddenly realizing what I'd done, I clamped my mouth shut. I'd been rambling on for way too long. I'd gone off on a tangent about freaking anime girl figures. Removable pieces, sexy poses... I bet I look like a total idiot to you. I wanted to know what sort of face she was making, but I couldn't bring myself to look at her. Either way, though, it was obvious. She must have thought I was total human trash. I started panicking. My heart was beating out of my chest. I tried to avert my gaze as far away as I could. Um... 
but that's when she called out to me, and I reflexively turned back to look at her. Her expression... It wasn't actually full of horror and disgust like I'd expected. You said you had the combat version and the maid version, right? May I see them? Um... Sh sure. The they're on the shelf. I was totally baffled. There wasn't a hint of anything on her face other than a wide, bright smile. Wow! This is amazing! You have such a big collection! In fact, her eyes were sparkling as she looked at my shelves full of figures. No way! Were there actually 3D women that weren't disgusted by this stuff? <laughs> oh, you've been in the box too long, brother. You've been, you've been baking in here too long, dude. You don't even know anything about the real world anymore, dude. You didn't know that there were actually girls that are nerds too, dude. It must have been a one in a billion chance. But I suppose there were billions of people in the world. Oh! So this is Maid Sarachan? Hmm. I see. It's a little different from how she looks on the show. But she's still so cute. <laughs> they even went so far as to make her little underwear, too. This is the first time I've ever seen something like this. But I really like it. Maybe I should get one for myself? <laughs> dude! Dude! Brother! <laughs> No way! <laughs> Ma'am, you best run or you'll turn into a degenerate yourself! Get out while you still can! <laughs> if you want one, y you should pre-order the post-awakening version. That's my recommendation. You think so? I'm really interested in that one too considering how you talked about it earlier. The post-awakening version is from that scene in episode 12, right? Oh, -ho -ho. you sure know your stuff, dear lady. You must be quite the fan. Dude, come on, dude, please. <laughs> God. Gosh, dang it. Yes, I love the show. I've rewatched the clip of the awakening scene every single day since it came out. You know, the animation in that scene is all Miyagi. He directed it, too, so there's no wonder it's so high quality. Miyagi? So she must like the show, but she's not, like, in deep like he is, dude, right? Like, he's he's in deep, but she's, like, she's still, she's still just a little weeblet. <laughs> she's just a little weeblet. She can't, she doesn't know. She doesn't know how far it goes, dude. She doesn't know how deep this hole goes. He's a god-tier animator. <laughs> Heck, everything he makes is total god-tier. Whenever his work shows up in anything, people post on at channel like, Miyagi for the win! And stuff like that. Oh, really? I see. You certainly know a lot about this stuff, huh? I never really pay much attention to the production staff. It's a good idea to check the director, the producer, and the scenario writer, at least. When it comes to new IPs, you can usually tell off of those alone whether it'll be worth watching or not. I see. I'll start doing that from now on. As you have said that, she turned to face me with another lovely smile. <laughs> I'd made a girl smile. I never thought I'd see this kind of eroge stuff happen IRL, let alone to me. <laughs> Usually, the 3D women, including my little sister, only ever smiled when they were making fun of me. There had to be some kind of catch. There was just no other explanation. I couldn't forget what Saratan had told me. Till then, you can't trust anyone. Don't listen to anything that anyone says. Um. Huh? 
I'm not sure if I have any right to ask, but... W what? Yua got all shy out of nowhere. She was looking down and avoiding eye contact. But is it all right if I ask anyway? I'd like to know... your name. Oh? My name? Now that she'd mentioned it, Yua had introduced herself to me, but I'd never returned the favor. N Nishijo Takumi. I was a little embarrassed, so I ended up weakly mumbling it out. Nishijo Takumi Kun? I see. What year are you in? Oh, uh, second year. I'm a third year. I guess I'm older than you then. <laughs> oh, she's the third year that... I bet she's the third year that uh, uh, Miss Me was talking about, right? She's probably that same third year. Ah, oh, dude, I bet that's this. I bet it's her. I bet it's Yua. Interesting. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Yeah, see, these were here. What is this? What is this? What does it mean? Uh, okay. Let me let me read a little bit first. <laughs> oh man, I was getting dizzy from how moe that sounded. Could Yua be the kind older sister type? Darn it. Trying to seduce me and crap? This woman was dangerous. She must be up to something. <laughs> By the way, um, Nishijo-kun, I have a request. A, a request? Seriously? I don't want this to pass me by, so wait. I, I don't know what this means. What's the green mean? Let me click it. Oh, what'd I do? What'd I do? I did. What did I do? 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 What did that do? I don't know what that did. Um, click it again. Click it again. Uh, what about this one? What? I turned it off. Click it again. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. I don't. I don't like that. I'm turning that off. I'm turning that off. I don't like that. I don't know what that means. What the frick? What does that do? It's a toggle. Do I- if I leave it on, does something different happen? I- Should I do it for science? <laughs> Okabe would do it for science. <laughs> I feel- I- I kinda wanna see what, what happens when I leave it. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna click 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 it. We're gonna deal with it. I don't know what this means. We're just gonna deal with the heart beating in my freaking ears. Oh, okay, it goes away. Never mind. And, uh, and then we'll finish this out. Oh frick! What did I do? What did I do? No wait! What did I do? No way! I ruined it! Did I ruin it? <laughs> what? What? What happened? What did I do? I did it for science! I just did it for science! I just wanted to know what would happen! What did that do? What did that do? Wait! 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 Wait, 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 okay, hold on, I gotta calm down so I can actually do this, wait, what did I do? She's now, now she's like, what, I, did I just change the world? I just changed the scenario, she wasn't acting like this before. What the heck? Oh my gosh, okay, wait, 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 hold on, I gotta calm down. Nishijo-kun, I... I love you. What the frick? I've had my eyes on you for a long, long time now. B but just looking at you isn't enough anymore. Yua's face turned bright red, and right after her sudden confession, she abruptly started undressing. Whoa! Whoa! Wait! 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 Whoa! 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 Wait! Wait! Whoa! Whoa! Wait a minute! Wait! Wait! What did I do? 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 I don't understand what's going on. I just tried something for science, dude. Wait! Stop! Stop! Wait! 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 
I was so bewildered, I could hardly bring myself to even peek at her. But when I did, I noticed she wasn't just taking off her top, but also her skirt. Her underwear flickered in and out of sight from beneath the hem of her blouse. It was black. What is it? Is this? Okay, what is this? Is this just fan service? Is that? It's clicking that button fan service. Is that what that is? What is this? What is this? <laughs> I didn't want this. I didn't mean for this to happen. This was not part of the plan. I just wanted to know what it would do. Frank, I gotta read this now. Gosh dang it. Frank. Oh. Being so bold, despite being clearly embarrassed. Sure, it was a huge turn on for me, but... Things were happening so suddenly, my mind could hardly keep up. It took all of my strength just to swallow the saliva that had built up in my mouth. Next, Yua started fiddling with the buttons on her blouse. She was undoing them, one by one, from top to bottom. Then, almost as if trying to tease me, she slowly, ever so softly, dropped her blouse to the floor. And for some reason, Underneath it. Is this? I don't understand what this is. I'm, I'm freaking out, dude. This is not. I. Uh, ah! She was wearing a competition swimsuit. It was a high leg swimsuit. And it was skin tight. With the way it pressed in on her body, a little bit of her thigh spilled out over the edges. So, those dark colored panties I'd caught glimpses of earlier were actually a swimsuit? Gosh dang it, help me. Help me. I made a mistake. God, please help me. Please. Man, how did a girl this timid have boobs this huge? And another thing, she didn't take her knee-high socks off. GJ, Yua. That's the right choice. But, is this like a hallucination? I, I, dude, okay. I, Hmm, I don't know if this is something that the, the, that the game creators just like threw in here for fan service or if it's actually like gonna, if there's something that, that's pertinent that's gonna freak out. Everything's all wobbly. I, 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 I'm not, I'm not okay. I'm not okay right now. I'm not okay. Please, just do what you want to me. Dude. You can even ravage me, if you so please. What happened? What happened? What did I do? What? Wh I was speechless. I'm not! It was pretty strange for a 3D girl to say all this stuff to a guy she just met. No sane girl would do that. Sure, it, it was sexy, but it wasn't even remotely moe. My sense of reason threatened to completely shatter right then and there, and I struggled desperately to keep it contained. B b b but I refuse! E While I was lost in my usual delusions, Yua suddenly had a huge fall and landed flat on her rear. She rubbed her butt while... On the verge of tears. Oh, he was in a delusion? Are you kidding me? I clicked the delusion button. There's a de There's a delusion button. How down bad are you for making a delusion button? Are you freaking serious right now? You can't be actually serious right now. There is no way that is part of the game. Dude. You, you cannot tell me. Is that, is it literally just a button for fan service? If I would have clicked the button when he was out on the street, would he have done the same thing there? Bro. <laughs> I don't want to touch that button ever again now. I don't know what it's going to do. What's it going to do? I don't know what it's going to do. I, I, I'm not touching that button ever again. I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it. I ain't here for that. Bruh, I'm trying to save this man, not try to freaking, freaking make him more of a degenerate. Hello? Oh my gosh, why? 
Why me? Huh? See, this is why you don't trust science, dude. I should have I should have thought of what Steinsgate has taught me, which is that science when you, when you when you when you try to go further and deeper into science, into things that you shouldn't, when you try to when you try to play around with with things that you don't understand, it always turns out bad. I should have known, but I didn't learn from Steinsgate, okay? I didn't learn. I should have freaking known. This is why you don't ever do anything for science. This is what happens. Huh. Golly. Okay. Here we go. Oh no, I think I just tripped on one of your CDs. The case might have broken. I'm really, really sorry. I I'll make sure to clean it up. It, it, it's fine. Just get out of here already. You've done enough. And what the heck was that request you mentioned earlier? Wait, she... Wait, did I did I miss something because I put him into a delusion? This was the one I wouldn't have wanted to do that. I thought she that we could have been her what if what if we became her friend? Dude, we could have become her friend and we we freaking might have forfeited that for a freaking delusion. Are you kidding me? I hope not. I hope I hope I didn't miss nothing. Please tell me I didn't miss nothing. Please tell me it was just a stupid frivolous button press. Please. No, dude, come on. The one time. Oh. Okay. You was started cleaning up the trash and CD cases lying all over the floor, even though I told her that she didn't have to. She looked so apologetic. It almost made me feel guilty, like I had done something wrong. W well, let me just clear enough space so I don't step on anything else. I'm really sorry. I I'll tell you a about my request after I'm done. She won't tell us now, because I, I clicked the delusion button. She won't tell me now. Something will happen and she'll have to leave. With the way she'd just instantly started cleaning up, and thoroughly had that, she reminded me somewhat of my mom. Not caring in the slightest about what may cause problems for other people, rushing straight into doing whatever she pleased. You know, the typical meddler. <laughs> in that case, I should probably start helping her, shouldn't I? We'd both reach for a piece of trash at the same time. Our hands would touch, and we'd both say, Ah! Then, we'd stare at each other's eyes, just soaking in the glow of the moment. Right? No, that's not how it works in real life. Sorry to sorry to burst your delusion, brother. Uh, but, uh, you gotta wake up, bro. We gotta help this man. He's, he's like, he's, he's, he's got it bad, bro. Oh my goodness, after that? After a freaking button press? Oh my goodness, I'm not over that. I'm still not over that. That freaking... Uh, anyway. Wrong! The heck do you think this is? Some kind of rom-com? <laughs> no way in heck I was helping her. Uh. While in the middle of piling up magazines, Yua suddenly stopped. Her back was turned, so I couldn't tell what she'd just picked up. Huh? It, it's fine. D don't mind me. What was she getting so nervous about? Something about it made me suspicious. She saw the one of the books, didn't she? <laughs> this sucks. I don't... <laughs> this whole game is uncomfort. That it's it's all this entire game is uncomfort. That's all it is. I'm just constantly uncomfort. That's all I am. <laughs> Gosh, darn. I'm waiting for something to, to, to trigger where it starts going serious like Steinsgate did, you know? Where it's, it's all like, oh, it was all fun and games. Ha ha ha. And now we're, now we're getting serious. It's never, it's never happening. It's never happening. Oh, man. Come to think of it, she was essentially ransacking my room at this point. What if she was trying to steal something? Maybe she was thinking that I had so many figures, I wouldn't notice if one went missing? But little did she know, she was dead wrong. <laughs> I'd perfectly memorized every single waifu on that shelf. If even a single one went missing, I'd be able to tell in a nanosecond. D don't touch any of my figures, okay? Uh, Alright. 
But I think there's been a misunderstanding. Um, this is a blood tune. Dojinshi, I think it's called, right? I just saw it fall down, and I decided to take a look at it. Oh, God. We're, we're, she, she, this girl, she, you, you, you gotta run. You gotta run. You gotta leave this guy. You gotta leave him. You gotta leave him. He's worried about her? I'm worried for her at this point. Oh, my gosh. Dude. Uh. My blood tune dojins? C crap. Th they're all porn. Oh my gosh, dude. Also, she has like a, a thousand yard stare <laughs> with this. I, I had to point that out at some point. Her, her stare just like, it goes like a, a thousand miles away. I don't know why. It's kind of creepy. This is just a little bit creepy. I'm not gonna lie. It, it was very interesting. So I was just surprised. That's all. Oh my gosh. D don't go looking at stuff without asking. Oh, I'm sorry. Yua began tidying up again, nervous as ever. Shortly after, she quickly cleared a space to sit down, and then turned toward me. So, um, about that request I mentioned earlier... Well... Finally! I gulped, then instinctively braced myself for impact. Earlier, you mentioned that one-figure pre-order. Do you think we could go do that together? Oh, dude, is she wholesome? Is she wholesome? I don't- don't ruin the wholesome. I always- okay. Mayuri was the wholesome one in freaking Steins Gate. If she's the wholesome one, we have to we have to protect her from this this degenerate that we're playing as right now, dude. At all costs. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude, she's wholesome. She uh, maybe she's not. Maybe she's actually a psycho. She could. What if she ends up being a yandere, dude? <laughs> what if she? What if she go? What if she becomes psycho? Oh no, that would suck. Oh man. But this is this is wholesome for now. Kind of. I mean, they're going to get it anyway. Never mind. She just It's wholesome that she wants to... I don't know anymore, dude. Leave me alone. Whatever. I, I, I'm, I'm like seeking wholesome now after all this bullcrap I have to deal with. I'm like, I'm like craving it. I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to see it in that light, even if it's not ever going to be that way. I'm hurting. Uh... Huh? Huh? You see, I've, uh never gone to an anime shop or anything like that before. Wait, what am I even saying? I'm so, so sorry. You must think I'm being so rude. It's my fault you got injured, after all. <laughs> this was some dangerous territory. I couldn't afford to just blurt out an answer. On one hand, Yua and I had shared interests. Heck, she was even a fan of Sada. She also seemed very interested in what I had to say, which meant she was someone I could get along with as an otaku. But on the other hand, it had to be some sort of trap. There was just no way in heck something like this, something so perfect, would actually happen to me in real life. It was an eroge cliche. Nothing more. Dude, it's, you see, it's like this again. It's like it goes from being, like, not okay to being sad. You know, it's like... He doesn't have to be this way. He can, if he would just, if he could just clean up his act. If he could just be someone different. <sighs> Alright. Alright, I'm done. I'm done complaining. I'm not, I'm gonna try not to complain anymore. I'm sorry. I couldn't let 3D corrupt me. Think, Takumi, think! What the heck could Yua's true goal be? Uh, I'm so sorry. Please, just forget what I said. It's just... All the things we talked about... It... It made me happy.
Yua sat there with her head hung low. Pretty much every 3D girl ever was insanely full of themselves. And meanwhile, this girl was remarkably timid. And there was no way a 3D girl could be so pretty and have such a cute personality. Everyone knew that. Meaning, she had to be faking it. I'd turn her down. I'd gather all my strength, all the power vested in me as a man, and shoot her down. <laughs> as Yua looked back up at me, I saw tears welling up behind her glasses. Dude, aw. Wait, was she crying? Was it because I wasn't saying anything? Had I just made her cry? Oh no. Give me a break. What a life or death situation. I'd never experienced anything like this outside of video games. My heart was pounding out of my chest. I was even starting to feel a little guilty. They say that women weaponize their tears, but only now was that really starting to ring true for me. <laughs> Bro, honestly, I had absolutely no clue how to deal with it. I was getting more and more nervous by the second. We... We can go together, I tried to say, but ultimately, I couldn't bring myself to. Because if I did, surely she'd just say something like, Ew, this weirdo actually took it seriously? What a freak. Call it a persecution complex, but that was how I felt. I just couldn't do it. It's okay if you don't want to. After all, it's not right for me to ask for something so selfish. <laughs> Her eyes seemed even more wet than before. I saw a single tear dripping out from the corner of her eye. I I'll come with you. Huh? <laughs> You'll come along with me? I had no choice but to nod. I couldn't think of any other way to make her stop crying. Still, it felt like I was stepping right into a trap. Yua seemed incredibly relieved. She took a deep breath, took off her glasses, and wiped away her tears. I never would have thought you'd agree to it. Thank you so much, Nishijo-kun! Huh. She was thanking me. Seemed like I'd been able to stop her from completely breaking down. Maybe I should be the one thanking her. Crap! How did I get myself into such a mess? Freaking 3D women! You can never let your guard down around them. <laughs> so then, when should we go? What time would suit you best? Hold on, where the heck had her sad-looking expression gone? Only a second had passed, and she was already looking as happy as a clam. Those really were crocodile tears, weren't they? If so, she should win a freaking Academy Award. <laughs> the new Santa-chan figure is going on sale soon, right? Y yeah It'll probably sell out instantly, I think. So we should hurry and pre-order it as soon as possible, then. How about... we go tomorrow? <laughs> According to my schedule, I needed to go to school tomorrow. That made it three times total this week. Then, the week after, I'd only have to go twice. I had a feeling that tomorrow was going to suck even more than usual. But I'd already told Yua I'd go with her. If I tried changing my mind now, she'd start the waterworks all over again. Ugh. I really had no choice here, huh? <laughs> it's funny, he's such a jerk in his own head. But like, like his actual, like what he actually acts on things, he's, he's totally different in how he talks and all that. Kind of interesting.
It's just, it's a weird duality they have with him. But it, it makes him at least uh, a more interesting character that way, I must say. F fine. I was incredibly reluctant, but still, I agreed. Yua seemed happy to hear that. But she couldn't fool me with that face of hers. Which class are you in, Nishijo-kun? We can meet up tomorrow after school. Class B? Class 2B then, right? Okay. I'll be waiting for you once classes are over. I nodded quickly in response, hoping that'd make her leave faster. Wait. I just made a promise to hang out with a girl? Was this a dream? A delusion? No, you already had a delusion, dude. This is real life. Somehow. I don't know how it's real life, but somehow it is. Oh my gosh, dude. We're okay. But we're not ruining this for him. Something you know something's gonna come up, and it's gonna try to say, like, hey, we need to do this right now, but then we'll have to like skip out on her. Nah, nah, dude. Can't skip out on her. Can't do it. Not for anything. Can't skip out. We gotta we gotta help this man. We're gonna make him someone who is actually able to freaking live in society again. <laughs> uh. I pinched my cheek to test that theory. It definitely hurt. Alright, well, I'm really sorry for taking so much of your time today. If your legs keep hurting, please go see a doctor. Alright? Oh. Sure. I sat on the couch and watched Yua leave. She turned around and waved goodbye, then headed out the front door. It does almost seem like a setup though, doesn't it? There's something to it. It's like, it's wholesome. But, but like... I... Because of all the weird stuff that's been happening happening to uh, Takumi so far, I'm just, I'm not sure if it's real, you know? I don't know if maybe... If it is an actual trap. Like, what if it actually is, you know what I mean? Like, they're trying to throw us off with making it seem like he's just insane. What if it actually is a trap, though? <laughs> gotta, gotta consider all possibilities. What if it actually is? I don't know. I'll see you tomorrow, Nishijo-kun. She said, see you tomorrow. And she even waved goodbye to me. <laughs> I felt like I was about to melt with bliss, so I quickly stiffened back up. Aw, dude. He just wanted someone to like him. Aw, dude. That's kind of sad. He's such a freaking weirdo, but... Oh, man. That's sad. That witch has definitely fallen for me. No doubt about it. <laughs> Dude! No! You can't just... I... I want to hate him. I want to hate him so bad, but I have to play as him, so I'm trying not to. You can't just... Freaking... I, I, hate, I hate him. I, I, I want to hate him. I want to. How dare you? How freaking dare you? She could be a trap, but how freaking dare you after that encounter? All right? Are you freaking for real? You've never freaking had anyone in your entire life even look at you, and now finally someone is, like, overtly, like, more than the normal person wanting to, to do stuff with you, and now you're gonna call her a mean name? Are you for real? You freaking, you don't, you don't deserve her. You don't deserve her. I might even, I might even freaking second guess going with her, just so that she hates you, and then you don't ever get anything good in your life ever, because this is how you are. All right, how about that? You ever think about that? I control you. And yeah, that's what I thought. But really, it's up to me whether or not I end up dating her, right? So I'm just gonna dump that. Bro! I... You don't deserve her. You don't. You don't deserve her. You don't deserve anyone. You deserve to be alone. You deserve that. You deserve... It was handed to you on a silver platter, and you are sp you're spitting in her face right now. You don't deserve a single thing. Okay, let's see if I can actually get through this. So I'm just gonna dump that bimbo. No mercy, no sympathy. You know what I'm gonna say? 
As you are now, you're not fit to be my woman. Come back once you've surpassed Sarah. Which is to say never. After all, there's no way you can beat Sarah. She's forever 17. Something along those lines. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I'm, play, I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to play devil's advocate. Okay, maybe again. It's the, he's got this rejection spirit, so he's like, "Oh, I'm just gonna dump her, so that she doesn't have the chance to dump me because it's all too good to be true." Whatever. But gosh, dang it! You know, you know what I'm talking about, right? I have so many mixed feelings right now, and I hate all of them. <laughs> but you know what I'm feeling right now, right? Like, golly. He's kind of, he's, he's, it's, he's equally insufferable and pitiable at the same time. I don't know, I don't know how to feel about that. He's, I, as of now, though, he's more freaking despicable than he is anything else. So it's hard for me to, <sighs> whatever, dude, whatever. There was no way any girl could ever be better than Seratan. I picked up the Sera figure and rubbed her against my cheek. And Seratan couldn't have looked happier. <laughs> 